Hi everyone, welcome to h and Reptiles. My name is Ashton Riley. And I'm Alicia Hall. And welcome to today's video. So, uh, do you want to explain what we're doing in today's video? Today is a care guide on our friends here, the mossy tree frogs. They are absolutely amazing. Um, these little guys I have had for a while now. I am obsessed with them to the point where I kind of want more frogs because you guys, I'm kind of in love with frogs. Like, wow. But these little guys are so easy to care for. Now, um, I keep my bedroom at a pretty warm temperature. Uh, it's pretty warm in here. Yeah. Not even meaning to. We have two fans going, but it just kind of stays warm because we have concrete. Now, because of the temperature that it stays in here, we don't really need to have any heat source on them because it's it's just fine. This is not heat at all. It's just an LED light so they can see their food. And honestly, right now it's just for the video. Yeah, because they're actually in the process of mating, which is so freaking exciting. Yeah, I know guys, right? So after the video, we're going to turn this off to give them privacy. They are behind the little thing. They're going to be going into the water soon. I've read they're starting their little mating courtship thing. Leash, Jeff, you want to look over there? You can kind of see. Do you see them on top of each other? Oh. Yep. Yeah. Exciting. Oh, that is awesome. They kind of move the moss out of the way a bit and put themselves in there. We'll have to get a shot of that for them. It, so, the fact that they're mating is something that is super freaking exciting. Not just the fact that I get to see what little mossy tree frog tadpoles look like. These guys, I've said this in a previous video, are endangered and are really, really hard to breed. Um, so, they either, I read that they either breed like rabbits or they don't breed at all. Apparently, Hopefully they breed like rabbits. I really hope they breed like rabbits because their tank is all set up nice. Now, like I was saying before, mossy tree frogs don't really necessarily need a heat source. Um, in the winter, if your house does get a little cold, I would just turn on a heater, if anything, so it doesn't get too warm because you don't want them to dry out. Right now, their, their, their thing is at 94% humidity. You want their humidity very, very high. That's why we have a waterfall going. I'll make sure to get a shot of the waterfall. You guys can probably hear it. Are you going to say something? You can probably hear it. Plus, they, you've also seen it on another video when we introduced them. And I don't keep a lot of water in there. They only need um, one to two inches. Not too much, but just enough, you know. Whenever they're ready um, to actually like lay the eggs, they will the ma they'll come down here and lay it on this bamboo branch. So whenever the babies hatch, they will fall right into the water. Hopefully, 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 I'll get some footage of at least some of the babies hatching. That would be amazing. Ooh, I will actually try to get a whole little thing of the babies being laid and then like the development especially if she lays them on there I'll try to get a development of the babies over the I think they're in the egg for like 14 days at what it is 18 maybe but that'd be something that's pretty cool but these little guys are really awesome um I feed them dusted crickets um little small Crickets. Um, they can also eat smaller dubia roaches, and some people say wax worms, but I haven't tried. My guys really like crickets. There's a few ones in there you can see. They're all white. Yeah. yeah. These guys are really easy to take care of. You don't need a water dish in there as long as you have this. Now, I, they don't necessarily drink. They just kind of like float whenever they're thirsty which is kind of terrifying at first, whenever I first got them, and I would see them floating inside the water, I would like take them out and they'd be like, what the fuck do you want? So now I don't even bother if I see a little frog floating, you know, only look if it's floating upside down, I guess. Yeah, that's horrible. 
but they literally they just like float on the water i know i've seen it, it it's kind of terrifying it scared it you at terrifying first because you're being watched oh yeah rango is watching you You guys probably can't see that but uh, the chameleon probably wants to kill me but the vietnamese mossy tree frogs are amazing little guys to the point where i really want to get more i love them would you It'd ever be cute getting a like another female or two in there? Oh, I can actually with the tank I can get up to four more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Must yes, to answer your question and if you guys are wondering, I would very gladly get mossy tree frogs. Um, mossy tree frogs um, can actually live in a 10 gallon, but because we're going to be getting a lot, we decided to go with the bigger tank so we can get quite a few. We only have the two in there. I don't know if you guys watched the other video where I was introducing them. Go and watch that video. They're adorable. They really are. Sorry that I can't really like show you guys them in this video. I'll make sure to put in a couple photos here. And here. <laughs> Power of editing. Right? But, well, um, we'll, we'll give it a little shot and let them get together. But, like we said, they, they are mating, so I don't really want to bother them because this is something that's super exciting. We'll have little mossy tree frog babies. Yeah. Super exciting. But, um, so, more about their care, I, I think they're, they're pretty easy to care for. They need a lot of, like, little hidey places. They need, they yeah. need their water area. They need a lot of little hidey places. We have, um, um, this um oh yeah, the cork here. bark thing. This log is awesome. I love this log. Um, how the bedding goes, um, you do, um, a layer of bio balls, then you do, um, the eco earth and then you do some moss um it will develop water right here that does not mean that your tank is leaking trust me i freaked out because i spent hours i'm like what the it's not leaking it's just moss i'm uh, not moss moisture that collects up here and it leaks down yep and like i said before in a video if you guys haven't seen this is ducting tape not duct tape ducting there's a big difference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Big difference. How do you not know it? Like, if okay, this guy at home tells you that there's no difference, they're dumb. They have no idea what they're talking about. Go to someone who has a brain. Don't trust Home Depot associates. Especially if they tell you that there's no difference. Yeah, yeah no. Do not put duct. Do, do not put duct tape. Oh, flashing down your here. Frog tank. I will. I will have it flashing down here. Do not put duct tape. No duct tape. Ducting. But we provide them um, a little way to get out of the water. They actually have them um, two different ways to get out of the water. Um, there's some rocks in here too. There's some rocks piled up right here that they can get up. Um, they like to get up on there. Um, I've seen uh, Michaela quite a few times get right up underneath yeah. the waterfall. Um, in here, um, I planted some fake, um, just little things I got from Hobby Lobby. It was before the apocalypse, and it was closed out. I think it's Hobby Lobby. Remember this thing? R.I.P. Hobby Lobby. Right now, I want you guys to tell us, thanks to the apocalypse, what do you miss? Hobby Lobby. What about Tattoo Shop? Oh, don't even get me started. I have, we both we had an appointment right before the apocalypse started. And she only has one other tattoo, so I'm so excited for her to actually go to my Let's tattoo artist. Right here. Yeah, because she hasn't even like went to my tattoo artist and I fucking freaking love him. Who I really shouldn't cuss. You've already have twice now. Not bad. I really love him. He's done like everything I have. Almost. Uh, he did not do this. A disclaimer. This poo was not done by him. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> let him see you tell he <laughs> tried to tell people and he'd be like, I didn't do that. Right? He's told That's me that he could have done this better. He went, ooh. Okay, back to reptiles. <laughs> um, 
But as long as you provide them a lot of little areas to hide, they will thrive because they are cave dwellers. I don't know if you guys can see me. I like swayed. I went to Narnia there for a sec. But, um. Uh, so they're cave dwellers. Yeah, they're cave dwellers. So they need a lot of places to hide so that they feel safe, secure, and more like their natural. Yeah. And they are nocturnal, so, um. Whenever you turn off their light at night, if you have a breeding pair, you will hear the male make a very weird, like, owl-like noise. It is weird. And they do it during breeding season, and guess what? Breeding season is year-round. Lots of froggies. Yeah, I'm freaking excited. If you guys are interested in some Vietnamese mossy tree frogs, we will have some tadpoles hopefully, very soon, hopefully, hopefully soon. very soon, and hopefully some froglets, and I'm honestly thinking about getting into getting another frog, but that is it for today's video, um, just a basic little care guide, they are super easy to take care of, a awesome, awesome frog, just, and they're so cute, the only thing that makes them hard is that they have to have the water, and yeah. their humidity has to be really high. But yeah. Make sure to give us a like and comment our question. Yep, what are you missing? What does the apocalypse make you miss? It's okay if you rant a little and say a few things, because I probably would. Because <laughs> there's a few things I miss. Mm -hmm. So what are you guys missing? Let us know. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Okay. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.